What's up guys, Foster Noble Electric Cookie here, bringing you what could possibly be my last commentary here on Foster Militia. I'll explain all that later in a little bit, but right now I'm just gonna talk about some stuff. So, let's get into it. So, when someone starts YouTube, you know, posting videos and stuff like that, they do it for one of four reasons. There are three, uh, the last two kind of go together. But, um, one, they do it for fun, you know, just all fun and games, they do it to see, just to entertain people, you know, just for fun. Two, they do it because a friend or two drags them into this whole YouTube scene. They, they're like, come on, man, let's check out some of my videos, maybe you can get into it. You know, they get into it, and they're like, alright, yeah, I'm gonna start doing my own videos. Three, they, they want to make the videos so they can get their name out there. Like, you know, people recognize them in lobbies. They know, like, there's someone good, you know? And just like it goes with four, the fourth reason it's fame. All they want is people to know who they are and stuff like that. But there's different variations of fame and people knowing you and stuff like that. Because some people do it for the fame. They could care less about anyone they play, play with. All they care about is themselves. But then there's the fame that they do it with a group of people because they want to get somewhere together, you know? And so, when Fast Fun Militia started, this was back in 09, probably, on Modern Warfare 2. It was, um, four people. It was me, Cookie, um, Swag Soldier, D Weezy, and, um, the R Pro. And so, when we started, you know, just all, us four, we was always just chilling together. We'd always party up together. And so we'd play, and then eventually we'd play with another guy, another friend. His name was uh, Mikey44 Charger. We picked him up, he was in the clan. And then from my friend uh, Daniel, he went to church, and his buddy from church started playing with us. Uh, you may now know him as Pulse, but back then he, he was unstoppable. That was his account name. So that was five people so far. Then, who am I missing? And then was, oh yeah, and then, um, he wasn't really in the clan, but we always play together. It was a uh, montage. He quit, you know, YouTube videos and all that back a couple months ago, you know. Apparently he got addicted to it, but that's another, another thing. That's his own business. But anyways, it was us six, uh, another friend of montages. His name was Mr. Exclusive at the time. Then there was a young boy, his name was uh, Sick Quickscope, that was his old name way back when. And uh, it was always us, and we'd always play together. And, you know, me, I was like, dude, you know, let's start a clan. I was, I've seen, I was watching some YouTube videos on how to get better and stuff like that. Then I found uh, Machinima on YouTube, watched all those videos on YouTube, then I found out about Optic. So optic videos all the time, and, you know, Hutch, Cena, and all the big machinima people back in the day. And so I was like, dude, I want to, um, you know, make a clan and be something like them, you know, like be big or just have a clan so we can play better, you know, all go under the same name. And this is this was my vision. Now, you know, it might sound a bit dumb, but this was my vision for. A, Foster Militia, or just the clan. I didn't have a name for it yet. This is my vision. I was thinking we, we'd always play Demolition, so we was so at that uh, Demolition mindset, I was like, all right, there's bomb sites on either side of the map. There's six people. We're gonna have one person rush the bomb site or plant the bomb. That's all he's gonna do. He's gonna go all OBJ. He's gonna have two guys with right. I was thinking on the map terminal, right? And so. And I was like, alright, there's going to be two guys with um, riot shoes. They're going to be walking up front and blocking bullets. Two guys behind them shooting up, you know, uh, top of the riot shield. So the guys would be distracted by the riot shield, but the guys behind them would shoot them. One guy, again, OBJ, go plant the bomb. And the other guy, he'd go around and flank them. You know, that's my, what my vision was for, like, the clan. And so, you know, it didn't turn out like that. You know, we still had pretty great games on Demolition and stuff like that on MW2, but it wasn't like the one I wanted, but it doesn't matter, you know, we had a great time, like I'm saying, and so, that was that, and so, I never 
really thought about, you know, getting into the whole YouTube thing until Black Ops came out. And after Black Ops came out, I was like, dude, I want to do this. And so, you know, I went out and bought a Dazzle. And I think it was like December or November around that time. So I went to go buy a Dazzle and I started recording it. For some reason, I knew Black Ops had theater mode, but for some reason, I wanted to record my first, or the first video to go up on Foster Militia to be, um, live for some reason. And so, you know, I tried to get, like, a lot of people or, like, a full party of six from clan members to come play with us, but we only had about four or two. I think it was only me and, um, Prodigy or old Prodigy. His name's basically no. It was just me and him. So, you know, we played. The score wasn't great, but still. I recorded it, and then I posted it up on the channel Foster Militia. You know, right now it has like over, probably probably a hundred, close to a hundred, more than a hundred, I don't even know, but that's what it is. So, that's that. And after that, I was like, dang, that's great. So, from then, we, you know, us at Foster Militia, we just kept just playing regular on Black Ops, you know, whenever we got a gameplay, I think, yeah, we'd post it up every so often, then finally did my first commentary, you know, it was, uh, weird, because, you know, now I'm used to it, it just talk to my microphone or whatever, my iPhone, where I'm recording now, just, uh, you know, making commentary, I don't have to worry about, you know, thinking like, you know, what, what am I doing talking about this, but I know now that people watch it and stuff like that and so back when I first did my first commentary I was talking all soft and I didn't really want to talk loud and right now I'm not talking too loud because this is kind of a serious topic and so anyways um yeah we started posting videos like that I don't remember all the videos we posted I remember me and uh Spacely we did a, a mini Taj for his old name Pulse but his old name was Predator and so we made little mini touch of his like couple clips but you know we used some copyright sign of course we didn't know nothing about that so we made it we posted it up on the channel and then we never really got like active subs until just recently really and so um you know um we just like i'm saying we just kept putting out videos time to time like a video every week maybe small clips gameplays um we never really was like into the montage, or we never really had that mindset where we was like, let's make a montage. At one point during our spring break on Black Ops, I was telling everybody, let's let's go try hard for these clips. Let's try to make a montage here and post it up at the end of spring break. <laughs> but during spring break is when the um, PlayStation Network was getting hacked and they shut it down, and so that slowed us down a lot. So after PlayStation Network came back on, we kind of forgot about it. We didn't really try. We got some clips here and there just from playing regularly, but nothing like amazing, right? And so then um, near the end of Black Ops, you know, everybody's posting their videos. I'm watching Optic's video, and you know, they was the first one to come out with the Team Tage name. It was montages, like, of course it was montages where the whole team was involved, but they never really, I don't think they really called it Team Taj, and I don't even know if they were the first ones, but as far as I remember, they were the first ones, and so, you know, I was like, dude, we need to, you know, um, do this again, we need to keep trying for these clips, Modern Warfare 3 is about to come out, so, you know, I want to get some kind of montage out here soon. So, you know, we just gathered a little bit more clips after that. Nothing, you know, amazing, like I said. And so, that was over, like, six hours of clips that I had on my computer. So, whenever I had time, like, whenever I went down to, you know, uh, Georgia or something like that on a long trip on the car, took my laptop and, uh, you know, I'd go through the clips. And I found the best clips out of all those six hours. And I made it into a montage called it um revive or something like that or revived with a d or whatever and that was foster malicious first team touch you know it came out great you know at, during that time some of the clips from the member or some of the clips from the team touch were from old members that had already left and joined another clan or something like that and so i had to put thanks for 
all the support and all the clan members and past him, past members and all that. And so, you know, got great ratings. Everybody loved it in the clan. People that were subscribed to us that watched it were just loving it. It was amazing. Like, and you know how now there's better montage standards where you have to get a quad feed or more to, you know, be something good? Well, back, back in the day, you know, you just had raw footage, just, just clips, and that was it. No standard of clips or nothing but this one guy commented that if this if that montage the first team touch came out back in the day it would have been a great hit across YouTube because he said it was great and so I was like that's 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 something cool to think about you know even though we weren't up to standard nowadays we were up to standard back in the day and back in the day where was when everybody played for fun and it was just better back in the day for you know I wasn't really part of that community during that time but you know I've over people that I've listened to and commentaries throughout YouTube and snipers and all that I've realized how the community was back then but getting off topic but so you know we came out with first team Taj and Modern Warfare 3 came out we're doing videos on there we released another team Taj Recently, like a couple, like two months ago or a month ago, we released Team Tosh 3. Last month was um, July, and July was one of the best months for Fossil Militia. We gained over 40 subscribers, and we had at the end of July, we had like 200. Now we're at like 236, so we're still growing, you know. It's a great thing, you know. It sucks for me, though. I mean, I don't know if I want to say it sucks for me because, like I said, it might be my last commentary on here or not. And, you know, I'm still not to the main point of this commentary, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, July was great. We posted a video every other day, at least once a week, every other day, you know, something like that. Every video, we got active, active views on it, active likes, comments, and stuff like that. Here comes June, and my mindset's starting to change a bit on this whole YouTube thing, you know. Like I said, um, when Foster Militia first started, we was all fun and games, and we got serious and recruited people, um, Prosecutor, Dominique, Impact, Cosmo, um, other people, and so, you know, we just started growing as a team, so it was something good, I, lo I loved the view of that, but then, um, after Team Tosh 2, I was like, guys, we gotta step up our game on Team Tosh 3, and Team Tosh 4 has to be our best Team Tosh yet, so, you know, when Team Tosh 3 came out, I was like, this Team Tosh ain't gonna be the best, it's just gonna be, like, a normal, you know, just an episode, basically, you know, Team Tosh episode, not an actual montage, you know, a lot of people told me that wasn't, you know, good, and I, and I, knew, I knew it wasn't good, but the clips weren't the greatest or nothing, so... I was like, don't worry, Team Touch 4 is coming, Team Touch 4 is coming. And I was telling everybody also, well, come on, we got to get clips and this and that. But like I was saying, my mindset is changing to where, or I don't think my mindset is changing. Well, it has changed. Like when, like I said, I first started off winning games, but now I'm getting to the point to where I want to get my name to be someone, you know, here on YouTube. I know it might sound a bit weird, but, you know, there's probably thousands of people nowadays that want to do the same thing and so I, I don't find it as a bad thing because people say it'll waste their time and stuff like that but I want to do it because I know I can and no one's stopping me really I know when things that are bad for you either it's health wise you know men mentally bad I don't know what whatever or just something that's just, just dumb for people to do you know but everybody has their own hobby and I guess this is mine and so with this hobby I know I'm good at it and I don't want to say well there's no easy way to say this but with Foster Militia we don't have set standards so when we get a clip or when they get a clip it could just be a certain amount of people and it's not up to today's standards me personally I can keep up with today's standards 
and I've changed a lot of that in the past couple of weeks, with like the beginning of June, and so, or not June, July, sorry, I'm mixing up the months, I think, I don't even know, but whenever this month is, and so I'm mixing, I'm, I'm changing and I'm getting better at the game and stuff, and so I'm keeping up with the standards, but people at Foster Militia aren't really, you know, keeping up with those standards, and so, Truthfully, Boston Militia is holding me back from my full potential. Because, you know, I don't want to say this any offense, in any offense to anyone. But, you know, my standards are different from your standards. And so, I want to um, go somewhere where my standards are everyone's standards that we can all get somewhere together. Um... What else? Completely forgot. Um, um, and it's not, it's not uh, Boston Militia's fault that it doesn't have set standards. It's just that everybody doesn't have the same mindset on YouTube. People in Boston Militia still have the mindset, we're doing this for fun, we're still doing this for fun, everything like that, you know. They get a clip, they just got a clip, they think it's amazing, you know. But in my eyes, since I've changed in a couple of weeks, I don't find it as amazing no more, and so, you know, like I said, I gotta move on, but I don't want to move on and just completely forget about Foster Militia, I want to move on and do better for me, but still keep Foster Militia to where we all have fun, I don't know if you guys, you know, keep up with a lot of the YouTubers, you know, a lot of the YouTubers on YouTube, like, Clem, <laughs> Like clan wise, you know, there's there's hundreds of clans out there, and you know, there's a lot of great players, and they're all in different clans, right? But there's some I've seen channels where it's different people from different clans that have their own channel, and they all post on that channel, but they define themselves as a family, you know, rather than the clan because they're already in the clan, and so that's how I'm viewing Five Star Militia right now. I don't want to say we're not a clan no more because content from Foster Militia is still going to come out. No doubt, I believe in all the guys in Foster Militia that, that if they keep trying, if they actually want to do this, then that great content is going to come out. I still have at least 15 videos to post up from Foster Militia on this channel, so the channel's not going to be dead. Foster Militia Team Taj number 4 is still coming out soon gonna be the best team Taj. I don't know if there's gonna be one after that. It just all depends on everyone that's gonna be in Boston Militia. Clan wise, family wise, either way, we're all one big great family and so um with that all said I've have started a new clan, not a family, a clan, right? It's different just explained all that and so I've started a new clan or it's not a new clan but it's a PS3 division of a clan the clan's called Revolt the channel is called Revolt Origin that's the main channel with the Xbox players I started the PS3 division Revolt Origin PS3 I'm the leader of Revolt I'm you know recruiting people for Revolt so you know if you want to join Revolt, then you should send me a message on my personal channel, here on Foster Militia, on the Revolt PS3 channel, and I'll get back to you, and so, um, you know, I don't want to forget about Foster Militia, that's why I'm keeping it alive, and we're all one big family, you know, um, you know, lately, some of the clan members that we've recruited have been like, why don't you recruit? some more people they eat they're like like one or two of the people in the clan are like they're having their mindset like i'm having right now they want to get somewhere they want to get their name out on youtube for people recognize them right and so i understand that uh, but they said we should just recruit random no life people that are just play the game 24 7 and go for clips and stuff like that you know i would love to do that but it's just not the same even when I recruited the newer guys, 
I had kind of had some doubts. I was like, I shouldn't recruit these guys because they're not, it's just not the same. Um, the solo account that I made a couple months ago, I made it because the original clan members, they didn't get on as much because they were busy with work. They had family over. They was busy with school, uh, practicing for their sports and everything like that. I don't do sports because I can't. That's another commentary I'll explain sometime, maybe. But just know I just can't. But besides that, um, yeah, they were busy. And so I was like, why Why should I be on my clan account if they're not going to be on? If I don't have anyone to play with? Okay, then I recruited some people. And I'm like, I don't want to play with them. It's not the family. It's not the people that I know. After the original clan members came back to play, we all played together. You know, Now I'll play with them anytime with the newer guys. You know, We're all one big family. They want to kick out this one guy, and I'm like, no, dude. I, I'm thinking to myself, no, we can't do that. We're, we're a family. We're, we're all one great big family. We can't just kick out somebody that's a part of us now. So that's another reason I don't want to just recruit people for Christ and Militia. I want to get someone that's actually going to be a chill person, a uh, humorous person, someone that's funny that can make jokes and deal with us from time to time. Uh, so... You know, I don't know what else much to say, but Boston Militia is still going to be here. Still expect content. Still expect the Grand Theft Auto adventures. We're still going to be doing the series of Incredible Optic. That's all Boston Militia. We're still going to be doing our Team Taj 4. After that, I'm not sure, but we'll see. All the people in Boston Militia will be, um, be in the description. My channel, my personal channel will be in the description. Revolt Origin PS3 will be in the description. All the clan members channel will be, they're not clan members, the family members will be in the description. So if you guys watched all of this video, thank you. And hopefully you guys support my decision. If you don't, well, I'm sorry. It's just what I got to do, you know, if I want to get somewhere. And so yeah, I'll catch you guys later and Maybe later, it just depends, like commentary-wise. You'll see me on this channel soon enough. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this long commentary. And uh, yeah, leave a comment and tell me what you think. Send me a message, anything like that. So once again, it's been Cookie. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.